companies began to compete to benefit from the surge in demand during the Brazil World Cup period. What marketing strategies are they taking to attract consumers? ECB tests out negative interest rate. How will the positive European factor affect Korea's economy? Korea develops a super-accurate atomic clock with an error of less than one second in 100 million years. Why do we need such an accurate clock, and what is its core technology? Korea opens an unmanned post office based on ICT. What convenient services is it providing? North Korea officially recognizes religions, but in fact there is no freedom of religion in the country. Let's explore the reality of religions in North Korea. Hello, I'm Andrew Salmon, and welcome to BizLine. Now, it's probably safe to say that the 2014 World Cup, currently underway in Brazil, will be the most watched television event of the year, more popular even than BizLine. But it's not just football fans who've been looking forward to the action. Companies have two. Various companies have adopted various marketing strategies to benefit from the excitement and to capture a slice of the tournament's exposure. So, let's see who they are and what they've been up to. The world is cheering over the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. It's a global sports event along with the Olympics happening every four years. Each game during the tournament attracts 800 million viewers and that provides marketing opportunities for companies as well. A home appliance store in Seoul. There are placards placed inside the store cheering for the Korean team, adding to the football fever. Clerks at the store are also wearing the famous red colored t-shirt to show their support. During the World Cup, TVs are the hottest items on the counter. Football fans would definitely want to watch the game on a big screen to add reality. TV manufacturers are actively marketing their latest product, UHD TV to the consumers in time for the World Cup. Samsung Electronics introduced Hong Myungbo Special TV, taking the name of Korea's national football coach. LG Electronics has hired Son Eung Min and Koo Ja Chol, members of the national team, as its models for product advertisements. First, in fact, electronics retailers say TV sales in the recent month rose in double digits when compared to the same period a year earlier. Hot selling items aren't limited to TVs. As football fans cheer on for their team, they are opening up their wallets to purchase food and beverages, which brought double digit growth in their sales. 글로벌 기업들이 세계 시장에서 자사 이미지를 한 1% 포인트 이미지를 높인다면 1억 달러의 비용이 드는 걸로 추정이 되고 있거든요. 세계적인 축제이기 때문에 이런 기회장을 기업들이 잘 활용만 한다면 분명히 뭐 자사가 만드는 상품이나 서비스가 시장 점유율이 크게 올라갈 수 있을 것으로 기대되고 있습니다. Alcoholic beverage companies are introducing new products in time for the World Cup and promoting them with a special package or limited edition. It's a marketing strategy utilizing the World Cup fever. Confectionery companies have repackaged their snacks to associate their products with the World Cup. This bakery chain has introduced World Cup themed cakes decorated with red horns, the symbol of the Red Devils. 어 들어왔을 때 이왕이면은 축구공 모양이나 이렇게 월드컵 관련된 그런 빵이나 케이크 같은 거를 더 눈이 가고 사게 되는 것 같아요. 네 월드컵이 시작되면서 월드컵 관련 제품들이 고객님들께 반응이 좋아서 
제품들이 꾸준히 잘 판매가 되고 있습니다. Even businesses that people wouldn't normally associate with the World Cup are also taking the opportunity. Galaxy Menswear brand is the official sponsor of the Korean national team, providing all off-field clothing items in Brazil after having done so four years ago in South Africa. The team's coach wearing its suit means exposure to the global audience as well as marketing to the local consumers as being the suit that represents the country. There is also a new means of marketing this year, different from four years ago, which is interactive marketing utilizing social media networks. Hyundai Motor is hosting a competition for the best cheering slogan for Korea's national team at the World Cup. Galaxy has also organized an event to sing a special team anthem for 2014 to boost the morale of the national team. 어, 고객들은 공감과 참여를 통해서 재미를 느끼길 원하고 있습니다. 그래서 저희는 응원가를 통해서 어떤 승리의 메시지를 전달하고 고객이 직접 참여하면서 어, 재미를 느낄 수 있는 마케팅을 진행을 하고 있는데요. 어, 저희가 이번에 발표한 그런 승리를 원해 프라이드 11이라는 응원곡을 통해서 2014명의 승리를 원해라는 후렴구 부분의 응원을 응모를 받았습니다. 그래서 그거를 어, 개막전 당일날 저희가 공개하면서 However, businesses may not see a boost in sales during this year's World Cup. The games are played on the other end of the globe when most Koreans are asleep, and due to the Sewar Ferry tragedy, people are not as drawn to the event as they had before. Thus, instead of pursuing excitement during this year's tournament, businesses are turning to giveaways and support funds as a way to market their product. Online store Auction is providing some 450,000 giveaways, aiming to improve its image. 지금 전반적으로 침체돼 있는 사회적인 분위기에서 뭔가 스포츠로 이 분위기를 전환해 보고자 하는 의도도 있었고요. 유쾌하고 즐거운 경험을 심어 주는 게 기업 입장에서도 굉장히 좋은 마케팅 효과라서 지금은 선물을 나눠 주고 그리고 기... Although the mood isn't what it used to be, the World Cup is a special sports event for retailers. Businesses are hoping that good plays by the Korean team could help consumer spending. 음 최근에 뭐 국내 경제 자체가 뭐 이런저런 이유로 어, 상당히 좀 내수 부분이 좀 침체되는 그런 양상을 보이고 있습니다. 다시 회복 기조로 올라가는 것이 필요한데. 아, 이번 월드컵을 계기로 그런 기업들의 지출이라든가 소비자들의 지출 이런 것들이 좀 늘어나서 어, 내수 경기가 어, 본격적인 회복 기조로 올랐으면 하는 바람입니다. A World Festival where everyone are united. The 2014 World Cup in Brazil. With the attention getting hotter, companies are also taking this opportunity to fuel sales in products. The European Central Bank has decided to lower its short-term deposit rate to below zero, a negative rate, the first time for a major central bank to do so. What is driving the ECB's policy and what effect will it have on emerging markets, particularly, of course, Korea? To answer these questions, we have with us a professor from Songkyung Gwang University and also the honorary president of the Korea Economic Association. Dr. Kim in -chul, welcome back to BizLine. Well, I'm glad to be uh, here with you. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Now, again, we always start off with a very simple question. Give us a dummy's guide, Dr. Kim. What does it mean when a bank institutes a negative interest rate? Well, you see, uh, normally rec uh, depositors receive positive interest sure. on their I mean, money in their bank account. Mm -hmm. Now, the negative interest rate um, it means that uh, the bank 
charges fee to the you depositors, in, right. you know, for keeping the, deposit, the depositors' money at a very safe place. Now, this is the story about you know the depositors and the bank mm. with respect to the negative interest rate. Now, if this story applies to the central bank, which is and what the we're talking about, banks, right. right, and then it becomes a lot of interesting and a very complicating uh, or mm. controversial issue. Keep, please the, keep it simple for us. Exactly, yeah. I mean, at the national level as mm. well as at the uh, world level. Dr. Kim, why do you think the ECB has instituted this policy right now? Well, it's obvious that the, the ECB, uh, by uh, not paying the interest on the bank reserves, mm. which is in excess of uh, you know, required reserves, mm. they believe that the, you know, more of the excess reserves will be channeled you know, to the investors and the mm. consumers so that the economy or the economies in the euro land mm. would be stimulated and uh, you know, higher growth and uh, higher employment so would be expected. So in short, this is a booster step to make more productive use exactly. of capital. Right. Okay. Now, other countries, smaller countries of course, compared to the EU, have imposed negative interest rates in the past. I understand that both Denmark and Sweden in, uh, I think, 2009-2012 applied these policies. Were they successful? Well, uh, I cannot say whether you know, the experiences of Sweden and Denmark you know, were failure or you know, a success mm. because you know, they might have different objectives you know, at that time. Okay. And you know that the Sweden and Denmark are, n I mean, don't belong to the euro land because they have their, have their own, own currency. currencies, not Probably. the euro. Sure. Right. So by you know keeping the interest rate at a low level, you know they uh, you know expected the capital uh, to go out mm. to the I mean, overseas in other countries, and uh, that way they can keep their currency value at low level, and you know, then they mm. can you know promote their exports. Right. Now, people say that uh, you know, the, their policy, negative rate interest, interest rate policy of you know, Sweden and Denmark yeah. failed in, the, in terms of uh, stimulating the, investment. Right, yeah. and then the investment and the consumption both fell mm. after the adoption, adoption of the uh, negative interest rate policy. Mm. But uh, as I said, I mean, uh, you know, these two countries have additional object, you know, objectives. Yeah in terms of uh, in promoting their exports. By lowering the currency. Exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, this raised, of course, a, a big question in the world economy, something very much on Korea's mind, um, that you, uh, both the United States and Japan, have lowered their currencies using different methods. Now it appears as if the ECB may be lowering the euro with this policy. Do you get a sense that there may be a, a currency war underway? And if so, does Korea need to institute a more aggressive um, currency policy? Well, uh, the situation uh, you know, Sweden and Denmark faced yeah. uh, was a lot different than the situation the uh, Euroland countries are facing mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, for one thing, uh, the economic environment, you know, the global uh, economic environment has changed. You know, mm. uh, I mean, improved as the right, right. I mean, yeah. as the U.S. economy is recovering sure. uh, rapidly, and uh, you know, by lowering, by keeping the interest rate at a low level, you know, the ECB would expect the banks to, you know, supply more liquidity more and to loans the market, to the yeah. investors yeah. and and uh, make the uh, you know money more available to the consumers, so that the the economies in the euro land would be stimulated, and they would expect you know a higher growth. Okay, so in that case, perhaps the fears of a currency war are overstated. But let's talk about Korea's interest rate policy now. The BOK, the Bank of Korea, has kept its rate steady for about, I think, 13 months. Now there are reports that the rate may actually be hiked, which would be in contradiction to the, the broader global trends. What's your opinion of this? What do you think the bank should yes, do? Yes, um, as far as I can see, uh, you know, central bank, uh, you know, Governor uh, mm. Lee Ju Yeol yeah. is facing a, a dilemma situation. Mm. If he increases uh, the interest rate, then the domestic consumption investment would be reduced, yeah. and then the economy is going to be, you know, uh, retarded. And then, uh, if he wants to lower the interest rate. Then uh, you know the senior citizens whose life who rely on the interest rates for their savings yeah. on 
you know, the interest income would be, uh, you know, frustrated and their consumption would fall. Yeah. So and uh, yeah, because it is yeah. hard to uh, you know, strike a balance between, you know, that's why, I mean, he's really, you know, reluctant to make uh, in a move, I mean, uh, mm. any action to you know, either I mean, increase or decrease the interest rate that's a tough at this call. point. Okay, well, let's come back to the ECB, though. This um, measure is expected to positively affect um, other economies around the world as a wave of capital is released from Europe into various markets, including emerging markets mm -hmm. like Korea. Do you think Korea will benefit from this measure? Um, overall, I would say yes, uh, because it is obvious that uh, with the lower interest rate in the euro land, you know, there will be capital outflows. Yeah. You know, to other countries, including the emerging countries, mm. um, you know, such as China or Korea, yeah. and uh, capital will also uh, fly uh, fly out to the U.S. and Canada mm. and other advanced countries as well. So, all boats will be floated by this, right? So, uh, to the extent that the uh, you know money comes to Korea directly, then it's going to you know uh, get the Korean currency one uh, even stronger. Mm. But at the same time, to the extent you know the capital flows into you know to the uh, to the U.S., that would make the U.S. dollar the US uh, dollar also stronger. stronger. So there is a you know um, you know plus and then minus effects mm. you know on the exchange rate. So uh, as far as the exchange rate effect is concerned, it's a little bit uncertain. But uh, what's uh, certain uh, you know about the ECB's uh, negative interest rate policy? Is that the, as their, I mean, the euro land the economies improve and yeah. you know their income increases, their um, import you know uh, of, of our uh, products would increase, so uh, we can uh, you know, benefit from ECB's new uh, interest rate policy. There is, of course, though tremendous sensitivity in Korea in Korea for any possible move that just may strengthen the one. On the other hand, as you just said. If uh, the Korean, uh, sorry, the European economy is boosted, that creates greater potential and possibilities for Korean exports. So there are two sort of opposing arguments. Where do you fall in between these two? Well, uh, as far as exchange rate uh, effect is concerned, yeah. it's going to be uncertain. There will be both plus and the you know, minus um, in effects mm. associated with the ECB's uh, negative interest rate policy. Yeah. But definitely, there is a, a positive effect uh, associated with the ECB's new policy. That is, as the, the economies in the euro land improve yeah. and uh, their income uh, rises, you know, uh, our export to these uh, countries will sure. increase. Yeah. And uh, we certainly get the benefit. And, uh, you know, the, uh, as a result, you know, the whole I mean, the countries, I mean, the world will get the benefit from ECBs, so long as, you know, ECBs mm. uh, interest rate policy becomes successful. Now, mm. there's some condition to be met, you know, for the ECBs interest rate policy to be successful. One of them is that, uh, you know, the investors, they change their, you know, psychology and they change their outlook of the future economies as they become more optimistic as they mm. you know, oversee that in the countries like the US and Canada and you know, these countries are um, you know, recovering from the uh, recessions. So uh, if that condition is to be met, mm. then the, the whole world you know, will we'll get benefit. the benefit. Yeah, it's, it's mm. a, just a win-win policy. Yeah. You don't seem too concerned about a possible rise in the one. Do you think that Korea is well insulated against uh, a further rise in the currency? Well, no currency is insulated from, you know, the big countries' uh, interest rate policy like right, in ECBs right. or the U.S.'s. Mm. But as far as the uh, ECB's uh, negative interest rate policy is concerned, the effect is, you know, uh, un I mean, ambiguous. Uh, it's that, uh, you know, there's could, there could be a plus effect or the uh, negative effect. Mm. Uh, but uh, as I see that uh, so far, I mean, in the, over the past five year period, mm. uh, the U.S. you know has been doing the uh, QE uh, yeah. policies, and they uh, supplied you know so much of liquidity. I mean, to over, I mean, across the see, four yeah. trillion dollars mm. over a five year period, yeah. and uh, now you know Japan has started you know their um, new. Uh, 
QQE program, mm -hmm. you know, quantitative bands, mm -hmm. qualitative sure. the mm -hmm. program. So they decided to, you know, supply its currency unlimitedly. Mm -hmm. And uh, now e ECB has joined the kind of currency, uh, you know, devaluation uh, or competition. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be a question that uh, we may want, do we want to join that kind of you know, competition with the I currency that, wall? That, okay, but, well, that's uh, the question. Yeah, but then, then, then uh, I don't think we want to do that because, first of all, Korean currency is not a reserve international money. By uh, which you currency. mean most banks don't hold what major reserves of one. Right, I mean, because yeah. they do not have incentive to hold Korean right. currency as foreign reserve. Mm. So on that account, we cannot really compete with these countries. Sure. So we rather, you know, want to make, you know, desperate efforts to, you know, improve the quality of our export products and, mm. you know, uh, expand our you know, production capacity mm. and, you know, develop, you know, design and, and, and here, um, the marketing uh, skills and, yeah. you know, all these efforts can be done to... So business fundamentals exactly. rather than fiddling right. with, with the exchange rate. So that's more sustainable yeah. uh, policy. Uh, as far as going the, forward, uh, yeah, future okay. uh, export promotion policy. Okay. Well, Dr. Kim, I mean, uh, I'm pleased that you sound generally fairly positive about things across the board. So, last question, I mean, yes or no, do you think the ECB's negative exchange rate policy will be pro or con for Korea? Well, as I say, some conditions are met. Then um, the ECB's new negative interest rate policy mm -hmm. is going to be or end up being you know, win-win policy you know, for the Euroland countries, as well as the rest of the world, including Korea. Okay, well, fingers crossed. Dr. Yeah. Kim, as always, thank you very much for giving us your thoughts well, on this line. You. It's been a pleasure. And we'll have you back again very soon. Do we actually need to go hunt for homes or apartments for rent in person? Isn't there a way to find a place you want within a small amount of time? The app of the week is Chikbang, a small realty dealer in your hand. Unlike the existing real estate websites, the app enables you to choose the district, house structure, building shape, and rental price in detail. As it provides more than five photos for each place, you can check conditions of homes and apartments thoroughly. Moreover, you can feel more relieved as you can also check the house or the building's surrounding environment with a map and road view. Now, you don't have to personally visit houses one by one, you can simply look around the house you want with this app. Korean researchers have recently developed a hyper-accurate clock. It boasts a margin of error of just 0.92 seconds in 100 million years. And it's only the world's third such device. But I don't need such an accurate timepiece. I'm guessing you don't either. So, what's the point? The world's biggest auto racing event. Formula One Grand Prix. Accuracy and timing is crucial as one thousandth of a second can decide the winner from a loser. In the field of science, accurate measurement of time is very important, perhaps can't even be compared to an auto race. In Korea, scientists have developed one of the world's most accurate clock, redefining the meaning of one second. Car navigation directing drivers where to go. An application that informs people of arrival time for the bus. GPS has become part of our everyday lives. GPS guides our direction by calculating the time and speed signal sent by GPS satellite. Thus, an accurate atomic clock is essential. GPS 같은 항법 위성들은 전 세계 어디에서나 기준이 되는 표준 시각 정보를 제공해야 되고, 또한 오늘날 널리 사용되고 있는 내비게이션과 같은 항법 장치로부터. 정확한 위치를 계산하기 위한 시각 정보를 제공해야 되기 때문에 어, 정밀도가 높은 원자 시계가 필요합니다. Even a minuscule error in atomic clock can bring a drastic difference in location. 위성으로부터 전파되는 신호의 속도가 초당 30만 km의 빛의 속도로 전달되기 때문에 
수신기까지 도달하는 시간이 매우 짧습니다. 따라서 이때 약 100만 분의 1초의 시간 오차가 발생하게 되면 이는 300m의 큰 위치 오차로 나타나기 때문에 정확한 예측을 위해서는 정밀한 시간 정보가 필요합니다. Thus, the most precise clock is a must-have in the world of cutting-edge science. The Korea Research Institute of Standards and Science has recently developed Uterbum Atomic Optical Latest Clock and has come under the spotlight. 현재 1초의 정의가 세슘이라는 원자로 되어 있습니다. 그래서 세슘 원자를 가지고 만든 원자 시계가 가장 정확한 시계로서 표준으로 유지되고 있는데 어, 광시계라는 새로운 그 원리를 이용한 시계가 현재의 세슘 원자 시계보다 훨씬 더 정확하다는 것이 알려지면서 이 연구가 시작되게 됐습니다. 그래서 저희는 어, 이 터빔메라는 원자를 이용해서 광격자에 포획하는 방법을 이용한 이 터빔 원자 광격자 시계를 개발하게 됐습니다. Accuracy of the clock improves on the increase of oscillation frequency of atom during one second. It can be compared to a ruler that has many markings, as it can be more accurate in measuring a length. Uterbrum atom is 56,000 more frequent in oscillation frequency than the KCM atom clock, which is currently the global standard. 원자는 이제 핵과 이제 전자가 있지 않습니까? 전자가 만들어내는 에너지 준위가 있는데 이 에너지 어, 이터빔 원자에는 이 에너지 준위가 굉장히 정확해서. 정확한 주파수를 낼수 있는 그런 원자입니다. 그래서 레이저를 이용해서 그 에너지 중위의 그 정확한 주파수를 읽어내는 방법으로써 그러니까 이터빔 원자 시계, 이터빔 광격자 시계라는 것이 만들어지게 된 것입니다. However, uterbum atom is in a gaseous state and moves freely, making it difficult to measure signals accurately. And scientists were successful in fixating uterbum atom in lattice through the optical lattice technology which they have developed. 원자 시계를 만들기 위해서는 원자를 정지해 둔 상태로 시계를 만들어야 됩니다. 그래서 정지하는 방법 중에 하나가 레이저의 세기를 이용해서 원자를 포획하는 방법인데 광격자 시계라는 것은 레이저 광으로 격자를 만들고 그 격자에 원자를 가두어 두어서 움직이지 않게 한 다음에 원자 시계를 만들기 때문에 광격자 시계라고 부르게 됐습니다. Through the optical lattice technology, uterbum atom is contained in a virtual box and the high power laser is shot. The essence of optical lattice clock is the stability and accuracy of laser technology. 이터빔 광격자 시계를 만들기 위해서는 굉장히 많은 레이저가 필요합니다. 그러니까 예를 들어 저희 이터빔 광격자 시계에서는 다섯 대의 레이저가 필요한데 레이저는 굉장히 주파수의 그 특성이 안정적이고 정밀해야 되고 정확해야 됩니다. 그런 특성을 얻기 위해서는 이 레이저를 음 진공과 그러니까 진공 상태에서 그 소음과 어그 외부 진동이 완전히 차단되고 온도도 이 레이저가 약 1000분의 1도의 그 변화율, 이 1000분의 1도 이내가 되도록 그런 아주 고도의 그 환경이 필요합니다. 이런 레이저를 개발하는 기술이 이 시계를 개발하는 데 가장 어려운 부분이었습니다. Currently, many countries are conducting research on optical lattice clock, and Korea is third after the US and Japan to have developed optical lattice clock using uterbum atom. Accuracy of the clock is superb, gaining or losing one second out of 100 million years, which is in par with the technology of other advanced nations. Scientists plan to continue research to promote the Yitterbaum Atom Optical Lattice Clock that they have developed as the global standard. If the clock is getting more and more accurate, the clock is getting more and more accurate. 저희들이 연구하고 있는 이터뷰미 미래 초의 정의가 될수 있다면 미래 시간의 정의를 저희들이 먼저 구현을 하게 되는 거고 그런 표준들을 저희의 노력으로 세계 표준을 만들어내는 그런 결과를 가져올 수 있습니다. 이런 연구들을 하고 있는 연구자들이 공통으로 목표로 삼고 있는 것은 300억 년의 1초의 정확도를 가질 수 있을 때까지 계속해서 연구를 
어, 하고 있습니다. A standard clock is essential in cutting edge science and industry. y e t e r b u m Atom Optical Lattice Clock provides potential to be applied in GPS, space navigation and verification research for law of physics among others. 산업으로 전달이 돼서 보다 더 정밀하고 소형화된 원자 시계가 개발된다면 어, 위성에 탑재한 위성 원자 시계를 통해서 어, 내비게이션의 성능을 향상시킬 수 있고요. 그 다음에 우주 항해를 저희들도 준비하고 있는데 우주 항해를 하기 위한 어, 정밀 우주 내비게이션에서도 활용될 수 있고 그 다음에 저희들이 하고 있는 모든 통신의 성능들도 한 단계 업그레이드 시킬 수 있을 것입니다. In the future, a country that leads in time measurement is believed to lead scientific technology. As scientists are working to develop the most accurate clock, Korea hopes to redefine that one second and set a new global standard. Imagine a post office without postmen, without tellers. Imagine a post office where all human staff have been replaced with automated technologies. Or stop imagining and keep watching. Because Korea has just opened its first fully automated post office. Let's take a look inside and see what may be the shape of things to come. Whenever you need to send a package, you may have frequently gone to a post office and presented the parcel to a postal teller to mail it. Now, a post office where people can send and receive mail without postal tellers and postmen has opened for the first time in Korea. The era of unmanned post offices created by the latest information and communications technology has finally begun. This is an industrial complex in Kimpo City, where many manufacturers and factories are located. But here, an unmanned post office opened for the first time on May 30th. Customers can post and receive mail as well as use financial services at the unmanned post office, which offers convenient ICT-based postal services and is open year-round from 7 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. 무인호 체국은 무인호편 접수 배달 통합기와 무인호편 안내 장치, 금융 ATM, 그리고 화상 3단과 보안 관제 시스템으로 구성되어 있습니다. 무인우편 접수 배달 통합기는 우편물을 접수하고 배달할 수 있는 장치이고요. 무인우편 안내 장치는 무인우 폐국을 구성하는 장치에 대한 안내를 받으실 수 있고 우편 번호 조회, 우편물 종추적 조회를 하실 수 있습니다. The volume of mail and parcels people send from post offices has been soaring in the past several years in Korea. up nearly 10 times in the period from 1999 to 2013. Korea Post moved forward the opening date of unmanned post offices because of increasing demand for a quick and easy postal service that is available anytime and anywhere. 전단 ICT를 활용한 무인 우체국 설치 운영을 통한 인건비 등 비용 절감으로 우정 사업의 경영 개선 기반을 마련하고 공휴일 및 영업 시간 외에도 우편 검증 서비스를 제공하여 고객의 편의를 정리하고자 무인 우체국 구축 사업을 추진하였습니다. At the unmanned post office, you can send or receive mail or registered mail through machines. For customers who can't collect their mail immediately, the post office is providing a service to keep the mail in storage boxes for a certain period, so that people can pick up their mail at the time they want. When customers post mail, a camera will automatically measure the volume and weight of the mail when they put their mail on the mail slot. When delivering mail to customers, the post office applied a technology of notifying the delivery of mail to customers by text message. Moreover, it added the convenience of providing various mail tracking services, such as tracking mail numbers and whereabouts of registered mail. 사람이 있을 때는 좀 많거나 이럴 때는 대기 시간도 길다 보니까 좀 짜증도 나고 하는데 무인이다 보니까 제가 다 작동을 해서 편리하게 할수 있어서 좋았던 것 같습니다. 
우편번호 13자리를 입력하신 후 확인을 누르시면 고객이 접수하신 우편물에 대한 배송 현황들을 보실 수 있습니다. 도로명 검색에서 검색하시고자 하는 도로명을 입력하시고 검색을 누르시면 찾으시는 우편번호 목록이 나타나고 해당하시는 우편번호에 대한 정보를 입력하셔서 이용해 활용하시면 됩니다. Elderly people or those who aren't familiar with the device can also use the service without difficulties, as the post office remotely provides guidance for the device through video consultations. Also, customers can take care of their banking and insurance business through the ATM machines in the post office. Korea is the first country to provide banking as well as postal services at the unmanned post office. Those who live in an area without a nearby post office and have difficulties accessing postal services can now conveniently send and receive mail and parcels from the unmanned post office. 제가 낮에는 집에 없어서 우편물 받기가 힘든데 이곳에 오니까 제가 원하는 시간에 우편물을 찾을 수가 있어서 굉장히 편리했습니다. 사람이 있는 하나의 우체국에 비해 연간 7,600만 원의 예산 절감 효과가 예상됩니다. In Europe, where postal services are the most advanced in the world, unmanned postal devices have been popularized from early on. Enabling people to send and receive mail and parcels anytime and anywhere. But with the establishment of the latest unmanned post office, the Republic of Korea's ICT based postal service has risen to the highest level in the world. The Republic of Korea's ICT based postal service has risen to the highest level in the 하지만 직원이 없는 운영 환경에서 보안 관제나 화상 상담을 이용한 시스템은 세계적으로 앞서 있는 수준이라고 할수 있습니다. Looking ahead, Korea Post plans to strengthen customer convenience and further expand its automation services by steadily setting up unmanned post offices in areas with a large floating population or where there are many apartment buildings and schools or areas that lack post offices. 현재 고객께서 입력하시는 주소 정보나 이름 정보를 자동으로 입력할 수 있는 접수 정보 자동 획득 기술을 적용할 예정이고요. 어, 집배원들이 수집하고 배달하시는 업무들을 자동화할 계획입니다. 또한 다량의 등기 우편물들을 가져오신 고객들을 빠르게 철, 처리할 수 있는 장치를 개발 중에 있습니다. As postal services combine with automation and unmanned systems, the era of new ubiquitous post offices is opening. The combination of high-tech digital ICT and analog post office is resulting in an increase in economic effects and work efficiencies, taking the level of global postal industry up a notch. In many countries, freedom of religion is guaranteed by law. Now that's not the case in North Korea, where religious movements are heavily prescribed. However, that doesn't mean there is no religious activity underway inside the state. Cardinal Andrew Yum Soo Jung led a group of Catholic priests to visit the Kaesong Industrial Park in May, becoming the first South Korean Catholic leader to cross the inter-Korean border. Encouraged by Pyongyang's rare admission of a South Korean religious leader, the South Korean Catholic Church is working on inviting North Korean Catholics to Seoul when Pope Francis visits South Korea in mid-August. It makes us wonder if there are actually active Catholic churches and churchgoers in North Korea where religion is known to be widely forbidden. Surprisingly, citizens' freedom of religion is guaranteed under North Korea's Constitution Clause. In fact, there is one Catholic church in the capital city, Changchung Church, named after the neighborhood it is located in. The church connects Catholics across the border. South Korean priests administer the Mass when they visit here. Father Yi Eun Hyung has been to Changchung Church three times since 2005. What was his impression of North Korean Catholics? I was in the Missa, and 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 I was in the Missa, 
를 찬송가를 부르는 어떤 그런 부분에 있어서도 또 전체가 목소리를 맞춰서 굉장히 잘 부르더라고요. 그래서 근데 이제 북한 지역에 몇 차례 가서 그 고해성사하는 모습을 한 번도 보질 못했어요. 그러니까 아마도 개별적인 만남을 갖는 거에 대해서 아마 북한 당국에서 굉장히 꺼려하는 부분이 있는 것 같다라는 어떤 느낌은 좀 들었고 그 이외에 어떤 그 예절을 진행하고 전례를 진행하는 데 있어서는 뭐 특별히 예, 다른 점은 없었어요. If we are to believe what we see, can we assume that North Korea does allow freedom in religious practice or conscience? In its report to the United Nations Commission on Human Rights in 2000, North Korea reported that about 35,000 people practice religion. Of them, 3,000 are Catholics. The number is strangely small for a state where constitution provides freedom of religion, but we get a better understanding when we take a closer look at the constitution. The constitution conditions that no religion can be used to undermine the state order. North Korea paradoxically uses the freedom of religion clause to keep its people on a tight leash. <laughs> 이제 굵은 이제 나무를 이 무릎 뒤에다가 끼워 놓고 빙글 끼워 놓고 그제 무릎 위에 올라서서 막 굳은 이제 발바 뭉개고 멍둥이로 때리고 According to the findings by the Database Center for North Korean Human Rights, people are persecuted just for possessing scriptures like the Bible and other religion-related items. When caught in religious practice or related activities, people are taken away by security force, interned in prison camps. Some die while being tortured. Oppression against unauthorized religious activities got heavier and sharply increased from the 2000s when the economy turned from bad to worse. Why is the Pyongyang regime so sensitive about religion? Pukanezo 이 종교라는 것이 아주 체제를 위협하는 아주 가장 그 위협적인 그런 존재가 되는 것이죠. North Korea is based on a nationalist ideology based on Juche ideology. Strictly speaking, the cult of personality surrounding Kim Il Sung and his direct bloodline. It tolerates no other deity than the Kim family. It, however, maintains that it respects religious faith for its people. 89년도에 제 13차 세계 청년 축전을 개최를 하게 됩니다. 그러면서 많은 외국인들이 이제 북한을 방문하는 그런 계기가 됐는데 그때에 북한에는 종교가 없다는 것이 결코 자랑할 수 있는 그런 사안이 아니었던 것이죠. 그래서 부랴부랴 교회도 만들고 성당도 만들고 절도 보수하고 하는 이런 이제 활동들을 하게 하게 됐던 것이죠. But it is not difficult to discover religious faith and practice here is somewhat particular. For instance, at Changchung Church, there is no cleric. If there are no visiting foreign priests, ordinary believers take turns to say mass. 교황청하고의 관계가 아직 공식적인 관계로서 수립되지 않은 상태이기 때문에 상주사제는 지금 현재는 없습니다. 없고 우리 남쪽에서도 또 아니면 중국을 통해서든지 그 장충 성당에 상주할 수 있는 사제에 대한 논의를 그동안 계속 해왔는데 여러 가지 좀 걸릴 돈들이 있어서 그게 이제 실현되지 못하고 있죠. The situation with Buddhist temples is no different. It serves more as a tourist destination for foreigners than a sanctuary for prayer. There is a stark difference between what the government says and the reality. The country recognizes religious faith only in name. Despite the harsh conditions with all risk of torture and threat of execution, religious believers are estimated to reach tens of thousands. 우리가 남북으로 분단되기 전에 북한 지역의 그 신앙인들 통계 조사를 한게 있어요. 당시에 그 우리 휴전선 넘어 북쪽 지역에 공식적으로 천주교 신자들이 한 6, 6만 명 가량이 됐었거든요. 하지만 이 신앙이라는 게 특성상 
정부의 중앙에서 아무리 강압을 한다 하더라도 부모를 통해서 또 자연스럽게 전수되는 측면들도 있잖아요. 그럼 그 당시 6만 명의 신자들 중에 상당수가 뭐 월남을 했든 뭐 자연사하거나 아니면 전쟁통에 목숨을 잃거나 이렇게 됐다 하더라도 천주교 신앙에 대한 기억을 갖고 있는 사람들이 한만명 정도는 되지 않겠냐. 라고 이제 추정을 하는 거죠. 북한이 유일지도 체제를 지금 유지를 하고 있고 김정은 체제에 와서 오히려 더 그것을 지금 강화하고 있는 것을 우리가 볼 수가 있습니다. 그래서 이 탈북하는 사람들에 대한 것을 통제를 강화하고 또 종교인들에 대한 색출을 굉장히 지금 강화하고 있는 것을 우리가 아, 알 수가 있어요. 그러니까 아, 북한의 이 체제가 지금 유일지도 체제로 계속 가고 있다는 것이죠. 아, 그렇기 때문에 이 종교인들의 탄압은 앞으로도 지속될 수밖에 없다. To protect its regime, North Korea demands its people to place all their faith and loyalty in no other than the Kim family. Despite all the oppression and threat on their lives, more and more North Koreans keep to their faith that could one day be used against the Kim regime, which looks day by day like a sandcastle standing before an ever-building wave. And that's all we have time for on BizLine this week. But do join us again next week. We have a rather unusual story for you. As I'm sure you're aware, Koreans are a group-centric people. And yet now a range of beauty shops and restaurants designed for a single customer, so-called one-stop shops, are springing up. What's going on? We'll find out next time. But that's all for now. I'm Andrew Salmon. This was BizLine. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.